Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Scarander. And today we're going up against Mr. Murkrow, I don't know as Shadow Valley Murkrows are in the LBA, and this court is an LBA match against him. Now, um going into this battle, I had sadly been preoccupied with work like quite a lot because we was supposed to have this battle on Monday, but I was forced to put in 12 hours and uh, basically just catch up because we were just so far behind and I won't get gone into much detail about that but basically um, Pokemon was not on my mind and basically on Tuesday I just wanted to spell out of the way because I put out another I think it was 10 hours and uh, yeah I mean I was not prepared for this whatsoever I basically looked at his team and saw alright he has Talon Flames and Mega Manetric and Superior so fast team I should prepare for that and I brought the wrong pokes too. Like the Stoutland that I'm bringing is not the Sand Rush, and the Dianchan I'm bringing is not the Trick Room set that I was actually going to use. I was so upset about this because I do realize throughout the battle that oh no, ah hey. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Mercro is also a Pocketubers. Make sure to check him out. He's actually been active for quite some time, and should definitely more subscribers. He's a very good battler. And he has a rough time in the LBA this season, basically, like I said, he's a very good battler, and I have huge respect for this guy for that very reason alone. So, yeah, besides that, um, I'm just going to start off with uh, my um, um, Thunders, because I'm not going to speed anything to see him, because of me being a Scarf and all. And, basically, not to try to lose by so much, because I did intend of losing, or rather, I was prepared on losing, so I just wanted a low score as possible. So anyway, let's go! So right, from the get-go here, he is actually gonna start off with the Excadrill. I did not see what one coming, I was really preparing for um, him starting with Tyr Tyranitar to be honest, but then again, uh, it might have been obvious that I could have played with my um, Dianchi as a get-go, so he's gonna switch out here, and that's of course, is I should have probably seen this one coming. I am playing very predictable here, going for the Focus Blast, and he's actually gonna do a major nice play here. When I say major, I mean major, because I'm gonna bring the Espeon, which is not the Specs Expion, which I thought I was bringing, and um, he's gonna switch out to his Tyranitar and Pursuit Craft me. And that, of course, did not cross my mind as he's probably gonna go for Pursuit. And anyway, I would not have been able to hit him because I only have Stored Power and the Filler Move, and um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, and um, <laughs> it's so terrible. So anyway, he's gonna Pursuit Craft me and, of course, take me out because I am still an Espeon. Uh, I really don't like using Espeon, I really don't. Uh, I think this is the second time I'm using it, yeah. I think the second time it goes down. Um, anyway, I'm going to bring Dianchi here, and Dianchi can't deal with Tyranitar, but like I say here, I do realize that this is not the Trick Room set, and I was like, oh no, it's the screen set, oh, fuck my life. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> it's so bad too, because I actually had a good idea coming, as I thought I could just deal with him, but no, no, <laughs> we're not gonna do that. So I'm basically gonna set up screens. Um, the rock or stone edge will not do a whole lot of damage because of the of the reflect, of course. And my filler move here is explosion, so I can't even do that. So I forced to switch out, and I was like, just face palm all over it. So I'm gonna bring Plexus, which is the sweeper scissor. And it has access to Sword Sands and Roost. It's, it's supposed to be a bit wally, but that did so much damage that it's not even funny. And I'm just gonna go for a Bug Bite, thinking that um, his Mana Bus is gonna come in. And Mana Bus is quite an issue, to be honest. And with the damage in Bond here, I don't do enough damage. Like, I needed to do around 50% to just force him out by this situation alone. Um, but that is not gonna happen. Like, I don't do enough. So I know that a foul play is probably in the range of taking him out with the leftovers afterwards. So I decided here that instead of roosting and scout the damage, I should just bring new pressure on him and try to find a new footing through that. And um, I decided to switch in Dianchi because since the sand isn't up, I really didn't see the point of bringing Stoutland. Stoutland could probably deal with this Pokemon fairly well and um, it's not gonna ha do or pro it's not gonna happen a whole lot here. I'm basically going to force him out, um, or rather, I was really baiting him, thinking I have Moonblast. So I'm just going to pull a double switch here, because that was definitely my only way to go. So I decided to do the double switch into Thunderous. Now, here's a thing, and you know, joke's on me here, really, 
because he will actually decide to stay in here against my Thunders after seeing Focus Blast. I decided to go for a Volt Switch. And yeah, I mean, I can't really blame my opponent here. That's a very, very nice play too. He had nothing to lose uh, by risking that, to be honest. And this Rock Slide does so much damage that even with... Um, <laughs> even if I switched out here, I would die by Stealth Rocks because I don't have any Defoggers on my team. So Thunder is going to go down and... Um, that's a second poke going down, honestly, and uh, you know I, I'm I'm not gonna do anything here. Uh, I'm gonna go to Beatamax, and um, Beatamax is actually supposed to work together with Espeon with Iron um, Iron Defense and um, um, Baton Pass, and you know speed boosting and all, and basically boost that stored power. Now, of course, with Espeon gone, there is not a whole lot happening here, and I basically decided here since I know he's ro locked into Rock Slide. Uh, I'm going to go for our defense, just scouting the damage, and um, after that, going for an infestation, because I know I can probably deal with another rock slide after that, because I have black sludge after all, and I do take this fairly well, and I'm definitely in the range of taking another one. Um, so, like I said, going for that infestation, and I never really used a Scholarpede before, besides a sweeper set, so having a bad and fast set felt really good. I felt like I had a chance here. This is going to go to his killing ton. And I did not really see this one as an issue because foul play will not do a whole lot of damage. But I also knew that, you know, he probably could pack the whirlwind. And if so, then, you know, jokes on me. It really, really. Because um, my only main idea I had left here, and I'm going to be totally honest here, is to um, try to, in some fashion, uh, get enough iron defenses to bring out my Stoutland and then just lock myself into return. Because I can't take a Leaf Storm from the Superior. And um, probably take him out by two shotting it. And he's forced to go to Tyranitar at some point. And Tyranitar cannot take a whole lot of um, returns. But sadly, that is not what coming to fruition. And like I said, he's going to get that whirlwind go in. And you know, that's all kinds of terrible. But then again, that is just me being extremely predictable. And he was definitely prepared for something like that. So, uh, major curious on my opponent's part. I'm just going to go for Roost here. I really just want to scout the damage. Uh, hoping that foul play doesn't do too much. Uh, but hey, of course it does, and yeah, yeah, I mean, damn it, this is just not working for me, and uh, I'm basically gonna force myself to switch out to Tenshi, and I think he saw this one coming and decided to go for another Whirlwind, and um, yeah, I'm being badly outplayed here, I have nothing to deal with the bulk of his team, and uh, I'm just playing right into his hand, and I was... You know, throughout this battle, I was just like, oh man, just I should just forfeit, I should just accept my defeat here and go and eat and then go back, go to bed. I think I had, the clock was at like 9pm when I had this battle, and like I said, just a 10 hour shift before that, and I was gonna go back to work at 4am, so yeah. I was really like, just frustrated. The foul on the return does a lot of damage. Uh, I do have access to Wild Shard, decided not to go on that because I was feeling that... Uh, if I do that and take him out, the residual damage will just be enough to take to um, put me in a bad range. Plus, I saw the intimidation on a Stoutland, that which basically was that, oh my god, I brought the wrong fucking Stoutland. You're fucking kidding me. I am an idiot, idiot. Oh man, oh man. But this return does a fair amount of damage to a resisted hit, so I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, basically, here I, I have nothing. I really don't. And um, this Atranitar has one badass accuracy, I should probably tell you guys. Because he is landing those hits. He is landing those badly. 80%, um, you know, that's just a state of mind in this kind of battle. Uh, I'm gonna go to Danshi here. Basically, throw up. Um, throw up. Uh, <laughs> basically, just gonna bring um Reflect up and then try to uh, come back with the sister with Roost and all. But that is not gonna happen. He is gonna crit me there. And... It, it really isn't mattering so much, it really isn't. Um, at this point, I was like, alright, fine, whatever. Uh, just gonna go for a sword stance here, hoping that it at least misses some kind of stone edge sometime. But no, no, we're not gonna have that, and Sister's gonna fall too. First time using me a Sister, by the way. Not, not impressed. Then again, you know, I have no idea what I'm doing, so what the hell. So anyway, at this point, I was like, yeah. I'm just gonna go for bad and pass, just really fall. Um, there, there is no way for me of really doing anything else. I could have taken this opportunity to, you know, make it a 5-0, but who the hell cares, right? 
Um, I should just have taken that opportunity with the sister, but then again, a 6-0 is always nice. I haven't been 6-0 since... Wow, yeah, quite some time. How about that? So I'm going to go for an iron defense. I just wanted to see if I can take a stone edge anyway. I would have forfeited after this anyway if I had survived. I just wanted to see the damage, but it is enough, and Mercury is going to win. So that is GG. Really, Mercury played a very good game. I'm not going to lie about that. I just wish that I had played better, to be honest, um, because I do... Or rather, I should say, I was going into this battle, I was actually very prepared to lose. Uh, was no real denying that fact whatsoever. But the thing that really bugs me is that I don't really respond to anything. I just are. Like, I'm just waiting out the moves. I am basically want this to end. I don't really try to turn this spell around whatsoever, nor could I. But it really felt that... Um, oh. I was not in game that day. I should have just forfeited from the get go by time constraints alone. Um, I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Uh, I really, I am not, and I'm not gonna blame work for all of it. But having put out 22 hours in two days and just basically going into a serious match, yeah, it's it's not gonna do any wonders. It really isn't. I was extremely rusty and. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I just I was super annoyed by this loss because it doesn't represent me as a battler, it just represents a tired, freakish beast of a man just want to go back to sleep and you know forget about everything for a while. Uh, but it is what it is. I lose 6-0, you know, that's that's always pleasant. That always is a fine representation of what a battler you are. Um Mercury, like I said, he's a good battler though, so he's playing a good game in contact with me playing really badly. It's just like, um, it's just made for being a 6-0, and he at least deserved to get some momentum. He has had a rough luck this season, so I'm actually glad he got a win. Just really sad it was against me, but it is what it is, and um, yeah. I basically need to get some wins again. Uh, I am now in a rough position. I am now in a position where I can get kicked out from the season. Um, so we have to figure out things from here. I'm basically going to make... I have three trades left uh, that I can make to my team, and I think I'm going to make all of them today. And um, the reason I do that is because I'm not going to go into the playoffs. I do recognize that with this team and with my type of credibility for a battler, uh, there is nothing like I can do with that team that's going to work in my favor. So uh, I basically need to make a few changes to make sure that I don't get kicked out like I need a few wins like two or three more to just stay in the season to next season and uh, I'll have to figure out things from there so that's my main idea I'm not gonna go to the playoffs I'm having that idea that probably I won't make it uh, with this team there is no way in hell I can so the only thing I'm gonna do is design my team as good as possible win some games and then say yes I'm gonna make this but anyway guys I wanna thank you for watching like I said check Murkrow out and uh, um, I'm really sorry. This is the first battle, I, battle upload I have in some time. I haven't battled for I think almost three weeks no, two weeks now. So uh, this is the only one I got recently. That's terrible. I need to I need to solve that once I have the time. But who knows when that will be? As of right now, I have no idea. And I'm sorry. I'm, if you say to the end, I'm sorry. I don't, I haven't really any more to upload. It's just. <sighs> It's really rough right now, it really is. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Sorry for the end card being so long and all. Um, and uh, hopefully I can upload something more this week. I can't promise you that, sadly. Um, but anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you like this battle. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Remember, sky's the limit. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care. Bye.